Well, 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 hello. Uh, I saw that, the, that there was a little survey when I, when I launched uh, the game. <coughs> so let's check it out. Great. Let's start. What's the survey about? Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Of what? Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Uh, yeah, let's drama. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Uh, yeah, probably. If you had to live on a Someone deserted acted. island and could only bring one object, what would it be? One object. <clears throat> a book, a cell phone, pen and paper, a console, an instrument. Uh, a book. That could be cool. That could be cool. A cell phone will definitely die soon. Pen and paper. I have limited source resource. A console. Uh, well, it is a deserted island, so I can't bring that. I, I don't see it. It's either an instrument or a book. Do you I'm gonna go with the violin right there. Dependent on technology. <coughs> Am I dependent on technology? Hell yeah. What technology do you most anticipate? <gasps> Androids, flying cars, space tours, and brain-connected devices? Huh. Brain-connected devices. I don't know about this one. Oh, let's go with Androids. Do you believe in God? Uh, nope. Would you let an Android take care of your children? Mm hmm. That's debatable. I'm just saying, yes. fuck them kids. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Well, I do stream, so roughly like four hours. If you needed emergency surgery, <coughs> would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Yeah. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? I mean, in, in real life, there I think there there has been. Uh, so yeah. <clears throat> Survey results. Uh, would you consider a relationship? Your answer yes. Sixty-one said yes. Uh, a threat to mankind. Sixty-eight percent yes. Uh, Thirty percent said an instrument. Hell yeah. What else? Seventy-five said yes on. It might depend on technology. Okay. Do you believe in God? 45 said yes. 37 said no. 18 said, uh, don't know. <clears throat> okay. 62% spend more hours on electronics. I'm gonna get that. Okay, that was cool. That was a little cool intermission. I hope you had a good day. Welcome back. Find Amanda. Oh, she must be all the way down there. Okay. Wait, but what's over there? Ah, uh, probably nothing. What do you got, Amanda? <laughs> Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Finding that deviant was far from easy. You showed great skill in your investigation. Oh, yeah. But you knew deviants could be unstable. Uh-huh. You should have been more cautious. Okay. I man. thought I could make it talk. It was a judgment error. Never mind. I'm sure you'll be more careful in the future. Okay. Uh. The interrogation seemed... Challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Traumatized deviant intervention simulation. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. 
as if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Unpleasant, dysfunctional, intriguing. Ah, let's go intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Friendly, adapt, indifferent, don't know, friendly. Adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the okay. investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on <clears> me, Amanda. <throat> Fucking Amanda, dude. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Look for Lieutenant. Go to receptionist. Can I help you? I'm yeah, here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. Oh, golly. On Lieutenant Anderson's desk, okay. Oh, there it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. That's fucking Thanks. crazy, dude. Wait for Lieutenant Anderson. Explore new office. Hi, honey. Okay. Learn about Lieutenant, progress the case. I feel like we should learn about this to see what uh anything useful that we could do. What is this? Knights of the Black Death, Dark Heavy Metal. <clears throat> Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Leave message, hang up. What is all this? Oh, hell yeah. Gotta love the... The Simpsons uh, Donuts. Old coffee, traces of caffeine. A tree, Japanese tree. That looks dead as hell. <coughs> Hmm. 
anti-android slogan use your brain not your android android free space Detroit basketball D okay give me bore now what am I missing Oh, his dog. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Red Eyes Task Force. <coughs> oh, kind of like the DEA. Detroit Police is a network of Red Eyes Dealers. More than 50. <coughs> Detective answer. Uh, Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant, becoming the youngest lieutenant. On the Detroit Police Force, Lieutenant Hank was among the most decorated detectives in DPD recent hit history, securing a number of high-profile arrests. Was long overdue. I've ever worked with new lieutenant. Okay. New record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat. Hmm. <coughs> It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Enter and listen in, explore the office. No! I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the <laughs> least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The oh, truth is, man. nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you left me holding the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Uh -oh. Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do <laughs> your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, Ew. I've got work to do. Anderson, pause there leave. I should just leave. Well, then. I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. I feel like we should establish, we should try to establish like a friendship with this guy. Uh, understanding, pragmatic, constructive. I get the impression my presence causes <clears throat> you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Partners positive. Yeah, I don't think he wants to hear partners. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Yeah.
Analyst, uh, Anala, uh. There we go, there we go, there we go. <coughs> oh man, why is that dog basketball music? Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like Whoa, that music. Oh man, that's like so it's specific. Full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, <laughs> I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Hey, let's go. Howler, anti-androids, basketball, dog. Okay. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? Lab report says they cut it. That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Hey. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's go, dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? I, oh my god, dude. Sumo. I call him Sumo. Fowler hours start working. I don't think Auntie yeah, Andrews, I should bring that up. Fowler, I feel like that might be his partner name. Hours? No, let's just don't if work. If you have any files on deviants, <coughs> I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Uh, missing. The plaintiff reports that he left his Andrew at home as usual. When he went to work, when he returned, Andrew was nowhere to be found. No trace of a breaking apartment. Andrew may have left the home without being ordered to. <coughs> Charles Bell. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by Pasconi dogs or straw. <coughs> <clears throat> the plaintiff claims that Andrew lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. Andrew's remained at large. Andrew also tried several rooms in the house before taking flight uh, of the Eden Club. E Eden Club reported and explained that Andrew disappeared after uh, accompanying a customer to his home and never returned. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I leave, man. Direct, aggressive, professional. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Determined, resigned the mission. Darton. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Oh. Listen, asshole. Oh my if it was God. up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Oh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Oh my god, everyone's always fucking trigger with me like Jesus, dude. <clears throat> it looks like the end result was only two options. I feel like the other one was just me going to go check it out and he was going to stay there. So, <clears throat> better this than the other one. Oh, are we... Uh, the, oh yeah, we are. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> All right, what do we got? Please, I hope no one's here. How are we neutral? Come, oh, brother. Change appearance and cut hair. I mean, we already changed our appearance, so, you know? <clears throat> Explore your check neighborhood. All right. Got a few things there and thing behind us. Oh yeah, we do. Death to androids. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, we're in a horrible place right now. <laughs> Exploring. Ah, oh, the the chip. Or my hair. Blonde, white. How does white look like? How does blonde look like? Blonde is not black. Uh, bad. Black. I like black. Okay. Wait, there, there's more stuff over here. Police patrolling the area. Uh oh. Okay, what? What else can we do now? Oh. Wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. Oh yeah, everything, you know, it's not, it's not too bad. <clears throat> You're 
pretty like that. Oh. You really look like a human now. Oh. The police are on our trail. All right. That's all for now. Ready to go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. Ah, oh, shit. <clears throat> they took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Uh-oh. Maybe it didn't go far. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe. Reach the train station. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. I have to go over there. Police is right there. Come on. Oh shit. Forty percent. Thirty six. Okay, we're going. It's so far, but fuck okay, it, we're going. Okay, we gotta go over there. Okay, no one's over here. Oh, I see there's cops right there. What? Oh, fuck. Oh my god, that was so close. Yellow, we gotta go. We gotta go. We can't wait.
That was cool. I, I've never seen um, this side, <clears throat> this version of the game before. I've seen that they go to the the motel and they almost get like uh, trapped or caught like almost immediately. Oh yeah. 